This one in particular, it's at a beautiful venue. Pretty much everybody's staying in the hotel here. And so that means, you know, after the sessions, people are going out and getting a beer and continuing the conversation. And you know, it's just a great way to experience the conference. Hi everyone, I'm Paul. Um, I work as a software engineer for Xtrol. We're a life science and medical device company. I work on the life science side and we make products that are used in preclinical cancer research, uh, mostly radiotherapy based. And obviously we provide software to control these hardware products. This is our flagship product, the SARP. It's a small animal radiation research platform. It has um, robotics, x-rays, uh, imaging devices, cameras, and so forth. And so the problem we were facing is that this hardware is changing and being replaced over time, uh, but also we had to customize the solution to our product's needs to cater to their uh, desires. And so we made many different product variations to cater to these needs. So how do we handle this? Uh, one option that came up was uh, compile time flags. And so this, we had things like this, we tell hardware to do a thing, and then we had all these different checks for different flags signifying different hardware types. Well, this doesn't really scale. You have to have a bunch of different types of builds. Um, this is just one piece of hardware changing. So imagine if you have many, you also have to consider the different combinations of hardware, uh, and this kind of exploded very quickly. So the solution that we decided we wanna pursue is have one unified front end, and have that support many different hardware configurations. In fact, all of them. So we went with a Qt-based solution. And for the implementation options, we were looking at std variant templates and inheritance. std variant was uh, viable, but uh, it, it was gonna involve a lot of uh, bloat and a lot of boilerplate in order to get it to work the way that we wanted to. Uh, templates are good, they don't really play well with Qt, which is our uh, UI platform, and we wanted to leverage that as much as we could. And so we settled on inheritance, there's certainly many other options, um, but it gets a bad rap because polymorphism does have an overhead, but uh, we're not doing real-time trading. You know? So we thought that we could get good enough performance for our, our use case. So here's our naive approach. We made this base hardware class that ended up being a misnomer, but it connects to some hardware device. It can disconnect, you can probe the status. And then for every interface that we want to abstract, so like the robotics, the x-ray controller, it would implement this interface in addition to its hardware-specific um, features. So we get this inheritance tree, something like this. Um, but we wanted to apply further guiding principles of keeping our inheritance tree shallow and also using the keyword final that helps the compiler out, uh, among other things. Um, but we noticed that uh, something else, another problem that we had is each class was doing way too much. It was communicating to the external device while also providing all the logic to control the hardware and do the various functionalities. So we separated out the communication, but in our genius, we also had it implement hardware. So now we're injecting the communication, which is good, but that class is now becoming a shell for the communication and it has to re-implement all of that interface. So like connect, disconnect, and it just passes through for the communication class. So what can we do next? Well, we wanna continue to do that separation and separate out the idea of an external device from our um, interfaces. Uh, we want to uh, remove that dependency on the, the interfaces that we want to abstract, like the robotics and x-rays, and we could possibly enforce this with uh, concepts and make use of that in our front end. And what we found is that inheritance does have some overhead, so does you know, polymorphism, but uh, it's always good to measure and see if it's good enough for your use case. Are you sure that you really can't afford uh, that overhead? We're, we all want good performance, but sometimes the performance is good enough. And this approach combined with composition, mix-ins, dependen dependency injection, all these things that uh, we hear about, even std variant, which we have used in the same code base, uh, gives you a solution that's elegant, it's easy to maintain, uh, but also addresses all of our customer needs. So thank you all for your attention.